So what we're doing right now is we're taking a pretty large chip sample. You can see the oxidation all over here in this bedrock. It continues up there. And then there's a little bit of a gap over here. There's more and along the wall here. And again down here following this. And a little bit more that's exposed in the bank. So we're going to take a, a chip sample across the entire area that's mineralized. Then we're going to measure that and uh, we'll tell you how wide this sample is going to be. And we'll show some of the samples. So here's the first little piece I just grabbed off the ground. Disseminated pyrite. And uh, a little bit of a stringer there on the end. I've decided to break these samples up a little bit. I just took a sample over 3.75 meters and likely this sample will be about four to five meters across here all the way over to there. And the third sample will be from areas like this, right there, right there, right there, where you have a powdery sulfide. Looks like it's a black color which oxidizes white and I've got a bit of it in here so I'm going to take another sample I just want to see what is in that so these are some of the samples we're pulling out of the bank here some of this is very colorful mineralization copper sulfides Couple average samples from that showing disseminated pyrite, calcopyrite, and a little bit of arsenopyrite. Nice amount of iron pyrite in this sample. I would say this is about the average amount of mineralization throughout a lot of the outcrop. Mineralization definitely varies. You have a few sulfides here. We actually found a source of this white oxidation and the black powder. We found a bunch of samples out of bedrock which have your, your black powder, which looks to me like arsenopyrite. I do see some pyrite and calcopyrite in there. We pulled off an additional sample from that area.
So that's just a few of the samples we pulled out. We got uh, six samples from different areas. We got two large chip samples. And these will definitely be going out for analysis at the lab, so stay tuned for that in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.